Number three, six plus one equals five plus three. Six plus one, that's seven. Five plus three, that's eight. Hey, they don't equal each other. Matter of fact, this is a symbol for not equals. So if they're not the same, then it is false. This is a false equation. Okay, let's take a short break from our notes and look at workbook page 28. Workbook page 28. Okay, on workbook page 28, you have some vocabulary words. An equation is, an open sentence is, a solution is, and you can write that in. You can just use our brief notes in there to write that down. Let's look at number one. It says, state whether each equation is true, false, or an open sentence, and explain. The good part is they already explained right here. All we have to do is just say true, false, or open. Let's look at letter A. So letter A, is this true, false, or open? And it says the reason why is because there is a variable. Letter B, is this true, false, or open? And notice they tell you right here, because 13 is, does not equal 1. And the last one, letter C, is this true, false, or open? And it tells you because negative 4 equals negative 4. Therefore, it must be Number two, it says write an equation for six times the number added to the number is the opposite of 42. And then state whether it's true, false, or open. So we have words, and they already put the words in there for you. And then we're trying to make an equation out of it. So six times a number. Six times a number. Well, let's use a variable for number. Let's use the letter X. So six times a number would be, if x is a number, six times it would be 6x. Okay? And that is added to the number. But what do we say the number is again? x is the opposite of 42. The opposite of 42 is negative 42. Okay, so now let's write our equation. So we have 6x added to is a plus, the number is x, equals negative 42. So 6x plus x equals negative 42. Is this, this equation is what? Because there is a variable. It is open. It's open. Okay, at the very bottom it says, explain whether each equation is true, false, or open. So you have these three to write down true, false, or open. Do that now quickly. Okay, 9 minus 7, that's 2. So 2 equals 3. Uh, is that true, false, or open? That's false. 2 does not equal 3. Letter B, it has a variable, so therefore it must be open. It's an open sentence. And the last one we have 20 equals 20. The left side equals the right side. That's true. Okay, we will do the next page in just a couple of minutes. Let's go to our notes. Okay, we're back at our notes, and we're going to do three more problems to the side here, and is this a solution? That's what we're going to figure out. Is this a solution? So 
So here's our problem. We have 2x equals x plus 5. And if x is 3, if I take a 3 and substitute it in there, is it a solution? Does 3, will 3 be true if I put it in there? Yes or no? So we have to plug a 3 in there. So if I put a 3 in there for x, I have 2 times 3. And then put a 3 for x there, I have 3 plus 5. Let's see, 2 times 3, that's 6. And 3 plus 5, that is 8. So the question is, is 3, does 3 work for this? The answer is no. Because the left side is different from the right side. If it was the answer, the left side would equal the right side. So we're testing to see if this is the answer. To test it if it's true, the left side will equal the right side. And it doesn't. The answer is no. That's not the answer. 3 is not the solution. Okay, this is kind of a long one here. 6x plus 4 equals 4 quantity 2x minus 2. We want to know if x equals 6, will this work? Will the left side equal the right side? So the question is, if I plug 6 in there, will it work? I'm just kind of zoom in there. I'll put a 6 in there. So I'll put a 6 for this x and a 6 for this x. So let's see, 6 times 6 is 36. And on this side, we have 2 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12. So that's 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. So we have 4 times 10. 36 and 4 is 40. And 4 times 10 is 40. So the question is, does 6 work for this? Yes, it does. The answer is yes. It is a solution. It is the answer. We know that because the left side equals the right side. Last example. 22 divided by 2 equals 12 minus x. So, and we want to know if x equals negative 1, will this work? Well, we know 22 divided by 2, half of 22. Divide by 2 means half. That's 11. On this side, we have 12 minus, now x is negative 1. Well, if that's minus negative 1, that must mean that that's a great big plus. So I'm not going to write that down, but that's a big plus. So we have 12 plus 1. 12 plus 1 is 13. So 11 equals 13? No. Not on this planet. The answer is no. Negative 1 is not the solution.